Here we have a circle that is in center radius form. So remember what we said in the last video about how we identify the center. It comes from this formula, from this form right here. And we noticed how we have minuses, we have subtraction in this original form. So when it comes to identifying the h and the k, you write the opposite of what you see. So even though you see a plus 2, you actually write the opposite, which is negative 2. I see negative 5, and the opposite of that is positive 5. That's how we identify the center. For the radius, we look to the constant that's on the right side. But you need to understand how this works out. r squared is 9. So if r squared is 9, that then means that your radius is 3 when you take the square root. So the radius is 3. And now we use this information to draw our picture. Start with the center, but don't put a, a full point there. Just put an open circle. So the center is negative 2, 5. So negative 2, 5 is right here. And then we do a radius of 3, which means up, down, left, and right, 3 units. So we go up 3, 1, 2, 3 to the left, down 3, and to the right, 3. And then I draw my circle. Again, we're drawing circles, we're not drawing diamonds. So we do our very best to make sure that we do have something that is accurate. Okay, so there you go. So when things are in center radius form, it's really not that bad. Let's take a look at the next example x minus 7 quantity squared plus y plus 5 quantity squared equals 4. So let's identify the center. Remember that to identify the center we see that we look at the opposite of what we have here. So for the x-coordinate the opposite of negative 7 is positive 7. For the y-coordinate we do the opposite of positive 5 so that's negative 5. And then we just need to identify the radius and we're going to be done, right? So again, r squared is that constant that's on the right, 4, which means that r is equal to 2. So my radius is 2, and now we graph this, right? So make sure you understand how we get the center, doing the opposite of the signs that we see here, and the radius is going to be the square root of that number. All right, so we got 7 negative 5, put an open circle there, and do a radius of 2. So up, down, left, and right, 2 units. And then you draw the circle. And there we go. And that's really, really uh, all there is to that. All right?